Oh, welcome to this um, quick video. It's been a while since I've done a video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this completely portable Wi Fi extender or repeater. This will pick, pick up networks like your phone or never detect. Completely portable, it's got a built on battery on back. Look at that, solid. In this video I'll show you how to build one yourself so you can detect and connect to far away networks. Great isn't it? You ever been in a hotel and you can't get a signal? It's happened to me many times. Right, this is in the spare bedroom. My mobile phone will only pick up two networks, mine to the talk talk and the one underneath well three this picks up three here yeah. so these have got a very basic antenna on the circuit board normally a chip antenna so they don't really pick up a lot of a lot of signals what you need is a repeater like one of these this is a cheap Chinese repeater a lot of people say, oh, we shouldn't use one of them Chinese, but don't the Chinese make everything? Most things made in China. It's a decent quality one, this is. I've had a few of these. And all these four antennas are connected. And it didn't pick a lot of um, a lot of signals up. So if you're in an hotel and you're having trouble connecting to their Wi-Fi on your phone, what you need is you need to boost the signal. You come in, What's coming from the hotel will be one of these. The problem with one of these, you're restricted to where your sockets are because it's plugged in. So I'm going to show you a little trick. So you can make it mobile. Just to give you an idea how good these are. You've seen how many of this picked up earlier. My phone. Well that's plugged in now. And there's the repeater. And look at these. I'll crawl these. Now it picks up. Hey, it goes off the page is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now it picks up fifteen networks. And this is on the bed in the spare room. You put this on the windowsill, it's gonna pick up a lot more. You see it's picking up our network at the top there, full signal. That just shows you how sensitive these are, obviously with the four antennas that helps. So what we need to do is make it portable, make it mobile, so you can move it around, put it where it's got the best signal. Should we do that next? That extension's a bit dirty, isn't it? A bit near the garage. Now right, let's take it apart, see what's inside. Just the one screw. Right. Oh, there's the circuit board. As you can see, all the four antennas are connected. Let's get some better light. It's got a ceramic heat sink as well there. That looks quite an impressive board, doesn't it, really? For a, for a cheap repeater, you can buy these. That's about £13. That's about £15, £16. US dollars. That's your two RJ45 network connectors at the bottom. Even though this circuit board looks quite impressive, I can't say the same about the power supply. It does look a bit cheap, doesn't it? That's very basic, that is. What we want to do is see what the voltage is. Hopefully, it's about 5 volts, so we can just plug a power bank straight into it like this. Attach it to the back side of the thing. If not, we're going to need to step up. Let's check the voltage. Yeah, got our multimeter on the output of that very badly designed power supply. There we are. Just under 5 volts, which is perfect. So we now we know we can make this mobile. And get rid of that terrible power supply.
just okay. We are going to disconnect it from this very poor power supply. Because that part's not going to be needed. Well, we will just take the circuit board off. We'll keep the back. There we are. Is enough, doesn't it? Well, that thing I'll never have any use for, so that can go in the bin. So what I want to do now? I want to keep the back of this. I want to keep the back panel. So what I'll do? I'll chip away at this. And we'll remove that. The socket. The socket bit. See, we're sort of dug in. So just got to work our way around that. Decided to use a saw. I think that'll be a bit quicker, wouldn't it, folks? There we go. I've sort of leveled it off. It looks a bit messy, but to be honest, it's going to be covered by a battery, so it's been that. Don't need that. So, we've got that. Cool. Okay folks, this is the parts we need. USB lead. Use a thick in if you can, a good quality lead. Can't stand crappy ones. I've got thin wire. They just don't carry the current. The repeater obviously, there's our power bank. The back panel. Got the screw somewhere. And some velcro to attach the battery to the back of the panel there. And hopefully the current's less than two amp, because that's the max of this, so we don't know yet. Put it together then. What I will be doing is putting an hole about here with the drill so I can feed through the power from the power bank. Be a lot neater then. There we go, just drilled a nice hole through there. Well, it's got the um, USB lead to what we need, so we need about six inches, I reckon, maybe a bit more. Okay, strip the outer layer so we don't need the data. So we don't need the white and we don't need the green, do we? That's the wire stripped to that side. So we do this side next. And that's it. Then two, then two stripped. Before we solder it, I just want to make sure it works. So I'm just going to pop in. You'd have seen these before on the internet. I'm holding the camcorder, so I do apologise for this. Oh yes. I was that 170 and 170. 180 milliamp. Now it's going up to 200 milliamp, which ain't bad. And you can see the lights are on. So it definitely, definitely works. That's great. What I'll do, I'll get some meat shrink on these and we'll put it together and test it. But I know for a fact it powers up. That's 500 milliamp now. Almost. 450 milliamp. Great. It works. It'll be a bit dark here folks, you can see the heat shrink just there, the bottom of both of those leads. When soldering, always use flux. You can never have too much flux. Turn off out soldering. So make sure you use flux. I wouldn't normally solder like this, but to be honest, I'm holding the oh there you go, lovely. I'm holding the camcorder as well. But because we put plenty of flux on, soldered lovely, didn't it? Perfect. Lovely jubbler. Oh, 
That's them soldered now, we'll just bring over the itch ring. Looking good. There we go, let's get the itch ring on, shall we? Be careful. Lovely. to admit to a slight error here folks what did I not do I didn't feed this through that hole it's a bit silly weren't it so I'll just have to chip away here feed it through that way never mind that was a bit of a silly error weren't it eh? never mind that's all we got to do I'll just feed the ball through here now lovely Put that panel back on. Something like that. Let's screw back in. So now we want this battery sitting level with the bottom. So we can obviously stand it up then, can't we? I will use some Velcro for that. There we go. Let's cut the Velcro to length. Be about there, will not it? There we go, that's our four bits of Velcro. Let's do this down. Something like that. To line it up. Quite simple isn't it really, you just match the other side, just lay the other side down. There you do, just peel the back off. Lovely. It's slightly textured, the back of that pair um, Power bank, so what I'll do, I'll just drop a bit of super glue on here. Just about, not much. It won't come off in, will it? Right, should we stick the power bank down? We've just got to make sure we get the bottom level. Because I do want it to stand up, don't we? That's it, just press that in nice and tight. And I ain't going anywhere. That's cool. Okay folks, that didn't take very long did it? There we are, it's all complete now eh? Nice compact unit, it'll stand up lovely. Should plug it in. Might be a bit tricky while I'm holding the camcorder but there we go. You can just see that green light on, they're very weak LEDs. I tend to do is so pop the antennas out. I think we get a slightly better signal when we do that. What a cool looking device, eh? Don't cost you much money. I'll never be stuck for a Wi Fi signal now, but maybe one of these. Eh? Look at that. Take it anywhere. Don't forget your phone's got a built in ceramic antenna, which is very weak and it'll only pick up very powerful local signals. This will pick up signals from far away. Then you connect connect with this and obviously your phone will connect to this. It's a, as it says a repeater. So you can put this anywhere in the hotel. Or anywhere you want free Wi-Fi really. If you know the location, if you haven't got any Wi-Fi at home, not everyone's got Wi-Fi have they? Some parts of the world. Wi-Fi is expensive. Build one of these. Go somewhere where there is free Wi-Fi. Take this with you. Use this to connect to the, the free Wi-Fi. And connect your laptop or whatever your phone to this. Job done. Should we connect my phone to it now? Let's put it up here, shall we? Okay folks. My phone's currently connected to our home network. If it focuses. There's the repeater. 
What we'll do, we'll do a scan now, we'll see how many lacking detect, just from the window there. That's it'll automatically connect and it's gonna automatically scan. So it shouldn't take long for the um, results to show. Wow. That's a load. Oh wow. So what's it detected? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 networks. That's amazing. 22 networks. Compared to my phone, if I put my phone in the same location, it's scanning now automatically. What's that picked up? Three. Like I say, these have got built in ceramic antennas. That's got four separate large antennas, a huge difference. And I don't know if I did actually mention it at the beginning of the video, this is dual mode as well. So it's 2.4 and 5 gig. Great results. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video folks. Please like and subscribe. Great, isn't it? Hi, what a versatile device. I'll see you soon, folks.